So how safe are we? Also in D.C. this morning is Stephen Emerson, executive director of the Investigative Project on Terrorism. Steve, good morning to you. Good morning. Bob just touched on this, but what do you think? Are we safer now than we were a year ago? You know, it's hard to really say. I'd say we, we have, if we look back at the past year, uh, the FBI has really batted almost a thousand, except for the fact that several plots, like the air cargo plot or the Times Square bombing, fizzled out on their own. But inside the United States, we've seen a, almost a doubling of would-be attacks, uh, and half of those attacks are by converts to Islam, the, and, and those who convert to Islam convert to a radical Islam. Number two, there's much more jihadist activity in Europe, and that's connected also to the United States, particularly because some of those jihadists have U.S. green cards or passports. So I think I would say the threat is greater today. As far as our capabilities, uh, they're also growing. We're at, vis-a-vis -vis -vis the warning this morning or yesterday that was given out uh, uh -huh. by TSA. We're trying to adapt to the last war. That's the real problem we face. Has our response changed an awful lot since this time last year? I think so. I think there's much more uh, visibility of, of U.S. security at non-airport uh, venues, transportation venues and hubs. Number two, there's much more detailed connections being made Outside the United States, when someone tries to apply for a visa, that was the mistake that was made last year when Mutalib uh, almost successfully detonated a bomb over Detroit when none mm -hmm. of the evidence was connected inside the system. Let's look a look at the, take a look rather at the next 12 months. What could be, could be the biggest challenges we face in fighting terrorism? Well, one, uh, we, you know, the homegrown Islamic terrorist is still a major problem. I mean, and that's growing. And in that category, the number of conversions from people who are not Muslim, Latino or women, white women, has grown exponentially. Number two, uh, the websites of Anwar al-Aki, as noted uh, by your correspondent, uh, is growing in popularity. Uh, and they are basically converting new converts to radical Islam and willing to carry out acts of violence in the United States without any direction from someone outside the U.S. Hmm. Steve, very quickly, any advice for Americans traveling over the holiday season? Well, traditionally, people say, look, look for something suspicious. Uh, obviously, um, th there's a limit what you can do, but you have to be very aware of your surroundings. And, and number two, be sure to inform security officials if there is something suspicious you notice, because it's better to be safe than sorry. All right. Steve Emerson joining us from D.C. Happy holidays to you, and thanks for joining us. You bet.